All right, boys, we're back. Welcome to it. This is Chris Rudnick's Intervention, volume number five. You know what that means. January's coming up, new year, new me. Let's get into it. All right, guys, well, if you watch all the videos, you know, we didn't have a shipping container here before. Now we have a shipping container. To be honest, the past five days have been nothing but hell, huh, Matt? Yeah. We have been moving and moving and moving. And it's kind of funny, like I, I made a joke about it in the beginning. Every year we do kind of say like new year, new me. And it is kind of a meme at this point, but I can't say. Like, I can't say, but this time I'm serious. You know? <laughs> like, How do I tell them? What? That I'm a changed man. I think you gotta show them. <laughs> Well, that's why we've been gone. I, I'm trying to show, you know? Mm. Can't tell anymore. We just got, there's no show and tell. It's just say show, it. tell later. Just say that. Oh yeah, no, show and tell. It's not tell and show. It's show and then tell. Are we leaving all this in? I don't know what we're doing. This is hard. Take two. If this is an eight minute video, I don't really care about ad rev or anything in this video. You know, I just want to kind of get the word out, let the peeps know everything. People comment on my girl glasses. Yeah, they're girl glasses. Do you like them? I feel like cool for some reason with them. What do we say, Kanye? <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't believe in some of Kanye's beliefs. I like Jewish people. I think this video can be good if, like, it's kind of like a blooper, and then you do the, yeah. the er, you know? Like, mm -hmm. you know, the beep. Yeah, the comedy thing that's been done a million times. Yeah, well, we're going to make it a million one. This is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pissed. Like that? I'm pissed. You're not cold. Freezing. Yeah. I look better in a short sleeve shirt. Is that what it is? I lost 30 pounds. Good job, man. You like that? Ooh, that hurts so oh, bad. <laughs> not putting that. Oh. Let's get to the point, man. <laughs> this, is, this is why. This is why we tell him to show. All right, so I know a lot of you guys, you're kind of sick of me buying a bunch of cars. And to be honest, I do have a problem. I will be the first to admit, I like to buy junk. And the reason why I like to buy junk is because I know there's some good parts on it. You can make some content on, on it. It's cheap, it's easy. And the reason why we go for cheap is we have to go all the way back to how much I actually spend a month in overhead. So check this out. We got this beautiful shop that sometimes leaks water through the roof pay $1,700 a month for this place. To be honest, it's actually pretty good. Like, for the space that I have and the location that I have and all of the car parking and stuff, 1700 bucks, electricity included. I'll never complain. I want to stay here as long as possible. But this is where the problems start happening. So right here, this is a big ticket item. So when I left, left, kicked out, kind of, you know, the other shop a year and a half ago, I, I had nowhere to go and I had a lot of stuff. So my buddy, Devin's dad, he let me rent out this, it was 1200 bucks a month, and like, it sucks, but it was kind of like the only thing I could do. So over the past like four or five days, we've been just clearing out this whole thing, and I mean, I've put this in some vlogs. This place had so much stuff in it. You should okay. see my shop right now. I mean, we're organizing it every single day, but right now it's a little chaotic, but we definitely have more than enough room to make everything happen. So come December 1st, all of this will be gone, and then we will decrease the overhead by 1200 bucks, which, oh, that's so good. All right, now here we are, we're in the office. The office, 800 a month, which, I mean, it is what it is. Obviously, we do merch, we sell a lot of merch and stuff, we need a place. And the reason why we kept the storage unit in the office for so long, because I've been actively looking for a house over the past year, and I mean, if you watch my Patreon, if you follow me on there, you guys know I've looked at multiple houses. We've put multiple offers in and somehow I keep getting outbid by cash offers, even though I'm going like 30, 40 over asking, which is absolutely absurd. So we finally got rid of the storage unit. We're going to keep the office for a bit until I end up finding a house, which I mean, it is, it's just one of those things. It is what it is. But coming here, man, you're asking why I was just wearing a um, short sleeve shirt. Yeah, aren't you cold? I'm a little cold. And um, next video, we are dropping brand new hoodies, which I am super stoked about. We got them fully embroidered and everything. Super nice. We're also dropping brand new hats. We got the little camo brim. And it's chilly out. So make sure you grab yourself a beanie as well. Where all of these will be dropping next video. So definitely get on it. We didn't order that many. These are literally all of the boxes that we ordered right here. So if you want one, definitely get on that next video. All right, now that you guys have a little inside scoop of 
what I actually pay for every month. And obviously, everyone has normal bills, insurance, phone bill. I have two employees, Matt and Grillo. Like, all in all, my overhead a month is $10,000, which is insane. It's never been that high, but with constantly traveling, constantly doing stuff, I didn't have enough time or I didn't really care enough to try to get rid of that because I've never properly kind of managed that side of things. I always just kind of paid things and kind of flipped money and moved money where it always needed to be. But over the course of last month, I was going through all my finances, going through all of that stuff. And to kind of backtrack a little, over the past like two years, I have been kind of situating my life. Man, we're really getting deep right now. Situating my life with like the government and stuff. When I was younger, I was a little foolish. I was a little dumb and I didn't do things the correct way. And when I turned 25, it kind of like popped in my head. You know, they say 25 is when you're brain fully develops and you start to like actually think about a future and stuff mm. it happened to me actually like no bullshit and I was scared that I was gonna go to jail so I got an account I got all that stuff this year alone because I owed a lot of money I paid $60,000 in back taxes. Good news is we're all caught up everything is all good we're actually on track for 2023 everything's happy Rudnick staying out of jail fucking awesome I love that that's that was my only thing I was like just, don't want to go to jail. But with $10,000 a month to spend on rent, $60,000, which I'm not trying to make excuses. I understand all of this is my fault. I'm just explaining to you. $60,000 I spent this year on just tax, and that's not, I'm not even including food. I'm not even including travel. I'm not including buying cars. I'm not including any of that. But now that we're all caught up, now that Rudnick's not going to jail, now that we're lowering the overhead, deep, like, Truly, like, we're gonna really start buckling down. I have fucking 36 cars right now. The only guy that can say they have 36 cars is Trevor. Trevor's got the same problem as me. I'll, I'll just out him right now. Trevor is just as bad as I am. Hey, Trevor, how's it going? <laughs> but and we talk about it all the time. We make jokes and we're like, yeah, we're fucking stupid. We do the same thing, you know, but whatever. It would actually be funny if me and Trevor had a raise. Like, who can sell all their, who could sell all their stuff first and, like, kind of start over? But really, I have a, a clear future that I want. Really, the only thing that's stopping me is money. Once I have money, which I have money, I have assets, I have a lot of assets. If I can get rid of a lot of those assets and I can really actually what I want, like everything I do, I want like my, my ADHD brain wants to do, you know? That's what Chris Rudnick wants to do for that week. But the next week, ADHD Chris wants to do something else. And then the next week, some Chris wants to do something else. But long-term Chris has real goals, but long-term Chris can never hit those goals because ADHD Chris gets in his fucking way. We're trying to delete ADHD Chris and try to fall. That yeah. makes sense, right? Yeah, if you're not following along, the gist of it is we're, he's gonna liquidate everything. And, yeah, so, and dude, we've been on Facebook Marketplace the past four days. I don't even know if I told you, I've made four grand. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I made That's four important. grand the past four days just selling bullshit. You know, like I Finally. sold. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> like we could have done this years ago, you know. Yeah. But that money, I'm not even touching. Yeah. I'm saving that for we have something going down in April, hopefully. And um, and that's another thing I gotta do. I gotta stop talking about things because I get excited about something, and I'm like the guy that like if he's excited, he wants to share because yeah. it's exciting. You know, like I wanna, I wanna tell everyone like how exciting things can be, but if it doesn't happen, we're the fucking assholes. There's a lot of disappointment. There's a lot of disappointment. So that we need to stop doing that as well. Dang, I don't like this intervention. I'm really putting myself on blast here. Yeah. Kind of now that I'm talking, I kind of feel like a fucking asshole. I think it's coming in a good, <laughs> healthy way. Yeah. Of realizing the problems, and we're gonna address the problems, and. I think everyone knows what the problems are. Yeah, for sure. And I don't know how much you want me to document this journey because I'm we're actively working like eight to ten hours a day on just trying to like move things, sell things, get rid of things, do all of that. I don't know how in depth you want us to go or if you want us to just kind of disappear yeah, for like, a little bit and just oh, like this, be this like, hey guys, this is fucking gone. We're going so and so and this is what we're doing, you know? Or do you want us to document all of the stuff? That's kind of a Good question, actually. Well, hopefully in two months, I can come back to this clip and use it and go. I mean, it definitely sucks because there's definitely, like, cool ideas throughout all of this, but the problem is there's 
too many ideas and there's not enough like money to properly make it happen. So like I just want to sell a bunch of stuff. Like ideally, if I have a hundred grand, we can soar. You know, like I've been talking to Zach, Zach from New Zealand. He wants to come back. He wants to do some builds and stuff. And my goal before he gets here is to have all of that money and we can actually build the cars that I want to build properly. Zach will be here. He's a great body guy. He says he's not a mechanic, but he's a humble guy. He's a fucking awesome mechanic. And Zach can kind of help us go in the right direction and build the things that I really want to build. Like I've had so many cool projects on the back burner, like the Colorado, the Blueberry, the JZX, just because I'm too scared to maybe spend that money on that car because if I spend 10 grand, in one car, then that's it, I'm mm. done, you know? But if I have 10 grand and I buy three cars and we're doing fun things with those, it gets you by, but it only gets you by for so long. And I'm realizing that. Yeah. So we need to kind of liquidate, start over, and- Refoc Refocus. Refocus. Just refocus yeah. on some core projects and yeah. not on for sure. rusted crap boxes. Yeah, no, definitely. So that, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. We're not, we haven't, left or anything we're just really trying to buckle down and figure out what we're doing differently next year because this year i i, I mean people say we don't do a lot i think we've done a shit ton yeah. you know the fact that last year i drifted d1 I, I think i went to new zealand three or four times last year yeah australia as well yeah we i mean we did the whole lz world tour that was huge we built the lse 36 we pretty much finished up the Colorado and stuff like I know from a YouTube standpoint like if you're watching everyone sure we didn't do shit yeah <laughs> but, but on like a real life level I think we're killing it I think we've done well I think we've done cool things yeah. we, we've had Vegas. a we Vegas we've had a lot of cool experiences you know Canada. and I wouldn't take anything back you know and I've met a lot of cool friends on the way and stuff but I understand in the YouTube realm of things we need to do things differently you guys want to see us build with all of the other youtubers and stuff like a lot of people were bummed that I didn't go to Ebisu to like yo why didn't you go to Ebisu like I was asked to go to Ebisu I didn't have enough money to go to Ebisu to do Ebisu properly you need about like twenty thousand dollars and I didn't have twenty thousand dollars to do that so um, we ended up doing drift week which I loved it's drift week is always fun Aaron runs a super sweet event doing all of that stuff and it was a good time but of course like everyone wants to be in fucking Japan I just couldn't but next year it's gonna be different I don't want to say anything I don't want to promise anything but I can tell you that we're gonna do better we're gonna we're gonna shoot for the moon we're gonna show you dogecoin will get there once dogecoin gets there we'll get there I got at least a hundy in there you like I'm that still on Doge. You're banging on Doge, you're 70 cents. I don't think about it. Dude bought Doge at 70 yeah, cents, 500 bucks. Yeah, Who yeah. does that? Zip, 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 zip. I put $100 a week into Lucid. If you guys wanna. Is that illegal? Is what, is what I'm doing illegal? I, I, maybe. I think I'm not a financial advisor, but I do put $100 a week into Lucid because I do believe that one day it'll hit $50 again. I was up 15 grand and it was one of those things where you're just like, dude, I'm fucking rich. Like, this is all good. Like, I'm happy. And then now, you know what it's at? It's at $4. I'm mm -hmm. down $4,000. But it'll go back up. We put 100 bucks a week in and when it's, when it's at 50, and I disappear for a couple months and I'm in yeah, Hawaii. Yeah, will be signed, will be signed. Yeah, I'm in Hawaii, you know, surfing the waves and shit. Of course, I'll bring you guys along. I'll be vlogging it. You know, I honestly, I'd be like, yeah, I fuck, fucking told you. Remember fucking November 30th of 2023? I said, bye, Lucid. Well, fuckers, I'm rich. I'm not a financial advisor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Fuck, I don't like this video because I just kind of outed myself and kind of made myself look like an asshole, but we're getting better, so. I, I think th the, the first step in recovery is admission. Is admission, yeah, that's right. I'm a recovering addict and I'm getting better, okay? Recovering car addict. I'm just a recovering addict and I'm getting better. It, it could be drugs, it could be cars, it could be whatever. I'm a recovering addict, I don't do drugs. Stay in school, don't do drugs, take your vitamins. I do vitamins now. All right, see ya.